So the average cost of tuition and fees to attend college for one year ranges anywhere from $10,000 to more than $40,000, depending on whether the student is in state, going to a public university, or attending a private institution. That is based on research published at the start of the 2023-2024 academic year, according to U.S. News and World Report. Heidi Hughes Camp Collins is here now for our financial moment, and that is the focus of our uh, of our conversation today, Heidi. Uh, the topic is college savings because it really isn't cheap oh my goodness no <laughs> it's a big investment both yeah. you know if it's a, if it's a child if it's the parents or a mixture yeah. of both. yeah exactly I mean I just I know parents that just that have babies and they're already thinking what's this gonna cost me in 18 years or how, however long so uh, specifically we're focusing on 529 college savings plans today um, it's something that I've heard of but um, I think that's true for a lot of people they've heard of it but they may not really know how it works so right. you can explain that absolutely 529 plans are, are just such a good idea. Yeah. They are introduced by the IRS back maybe 20 years ago, something 25 years ago, something like that, oh, wow. in their way to si save for college. Okay. So here's a big, a, a, a big important thing. The adult is the owner of the 529 plan. So whether that's a, a grandparent or an aunt and, or an uncle mm -hmm. or a parent or, okay. you know, or grandparent, whatever it is. And then the child is the beneficiary. Okay. Okay. So um, any adult can deposit money into the 529 plan for okay. the child's benefit, benefit. It could be like for Christmas presents, birthday presents, Graduation. something like that. Yeah. Exactly. And then that, um, that money is invested appropriately for the child. It grows and grows. And um, then it is eligible for kids to be able to take out that money when they get to be 18 or 19 or whatever they're going to start college okay. for eligible educational, um, you know, costs. Okay. Now, there's other ways to save for college, but they're not as tax friendly. Oh, I see. Um, so, you know, people can save for kids in what are called Uniform Transfer to Minors Act, Uniform um, Gift to Minor Act accounts. And the child is the is the owner of the account. Got it. Okay. And the parent is just the guardian or the grandparent. Okay. And then what happens when that child reaches the age of majority, which is either 18 or 21, depending on the state. Okay. The kid gets the money. Okay. No matter now, what. No matter what. So I mean, I've had people open up these accounts for for kids, mm -hmm. and then the kid calls me on their 18th birthday and wants fifty thousand dollars. And, and by law, I have to, you give, have it to, to give it to them. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't feel real good no. about my 18-year-old, you know, yeah. taking off with that amount of money. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, so that all makes sense. Um, you talked about eligible expenses with the 529 plan. Um, so what are some of those expenses? Um, and do they have to go to college with that? Yeah. Tuition, okay. room and board. And you even, you even if, if the student is going to live at home or live in an apartment, there are ways of, of contributing towards that. Okay. Um, books, fees, computers, internet access, um, anything that has to do with going to college. Okay. I had somebody ask me once, what about a car? Sure. You know, that's going to take my child to school. Well, if you have a car and the only place you're going to go is school, sure, then you could, but that's not really re it's you know, hard very to, likely. Yeah. So a, a car would be a hard, a hard, uh, you know, thing to to make happen. Um, but it, and it's for any accredited school. It could be for vocational schools. Okay. It could be for an apprentice program. Okay, that's the what I was curious about. Yeah, anything like that. Um, any oh. accredited school where you can get any kind of a certification, like if okay. someone's going to get a welder certification sure. or anything like that. Yeah, because we know more and more of our college students are, are choosing that avenue. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're hearing it all the time that maybe they're not going to be going to a four-year university, um, but they're going to go through an apprenticeship. And um, it's nice that this can be used for that as well. So Absolutely. They don't feel stuck. Stuck. Because you're not going to know. I mean, right. you know, you you have a you know you have a child, and um, you know you you 
don't know when they're born or what they're going to do, what yeah. they're going to do, or if they're if they're college bound. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, we talked about this earlier. College savings plans, the 529s. Um, you say they are one of the best gifts the IRS gives us. Uh, you mentioned before because it's it's best for tax purposes. Is yes. that the only reason why, or is there other? They're they're one of the best gifts that the IRS gives us because you know. Uh, parents, grandparents, whoever, you know, loving adults are going to um, deposit money for the benefit of this, you know, ultimate beneficiary, which is the, which is the child. Right. And um, the funds are invested. They're going to grow and grow, hopefully over 17, 18 sure. years yeah, if, if they start early. early. Yeah. You know, and all that growth is tax free. Okay. All that growth is tax free as long as you use that That's money huge. for educational purposes. That is huge. So, you know, the the rule of 72 is that um, if you invest money um, aggressively, like in, in stocks, mm -hmm. um, that that money is going to double every 10 years. Okay. Sometimes eight years. Right. And so, you know, if you think of that doubling, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money it really over is. time. It is. It's huge. Okay, something to consider early on in your child's life for sure. Uh, to learn more about the services that Heidi offers, visit her website, hhcinvestments.net. And remember, you can see all of our previous segments with Heidi by visiting kwqc.com and clicking the tab for Quad Cities Live. Heidi, great information today. Thank you so Good much for be being here.